guys, what's up? Sherry here from No Fucks Given Crew. So this is going to be a yang breeding for February the 17th until the 24th. Um, I apologize um, for my throat. I have the flu right now. So I'm going to try and keep this reading brief. Um, if you would like to order my cards, um, you can contact me in the email below, which is sherry at hotmail.com. All right, so I'm using my cards, and I think I'm going to do a split yin yang so I'm going to pull the cards first and then we'll go through the positions oh I'm going the wrong way mm, yeah and the bottom of the deck is fiery pursuit Okay, so fire pursuit. This is um, going after something that inspires you. Um, it could have to do with spirituality or creativity, but it is taking control of your life, directing your energy towards that thing and not letting anything stop you. Something that you're very passionate about. So this is what you're going to be doing uh, for the coming week, is pursuing what, you know, your passions, your desires beautiful so in the current moment how do you feel about yourself the high priestess so this is somebody who's looking for answers who listens to their intuitions has foresight so there is a question that you want answered you're looking for that answer and you're um, you're paying attention to your thoughts your dreams um, it is a very feminine energy which is receptive you know you're open to the energies around you you're feeling the vibrations that's very beautiful how do you feel about the feminine crown chakra wow so you see her as this illuminated being uh, you feel connected to her in the, the 5d um, you have this deep, deep sense of knowing that this connection is a twin flame that you are meant to be and like I said you're actively pursuing that so how do you feel about the relationship wow uh, spark of inspiration this is another illuminated card um, this is having the spark of inspiration taking that spark and pursuing it um, it is a kundalini awakening it is a very powerful energy, a drive, and it's a beginning of something beautiful. So in terms of the relationship, there is this, you know, beginning there, and you're going to be pursuing it. Um, what do you fear? Independence. So this is financial freedom. This is feeling like you've you have enough money to to share. You're stable. There's a foundation. Um, you fear that maybe you're not ready. That um, you're not fully free. You're not independent enough yet. You don't have enough to offer. I don't know. Okay, so what do you want? The solar plexus chakra. You want power. You want strength. You want courage. You want to be on that fiery horse of pursuit. You want, you know, that you got the green light here, and then we got that blast out of the gate. Um, you want the strength, the power, the courage to to move forward. Pursue those things. To be independent. 
what will you get as a final outcome? Healing Heart. Wow, that's ironic because this is what you got as a final outcome for the Twin Flame reading. What you get is uh, a retreat to heal yourself. Um, to look after yourself. This card is also about self-love. So the Four of Swords... <clears throat> What is it? Well, you you know, you also got the Three of Swords, too, I believe. Yeah, you both got the Three of Swords at the heart space, so there's healing that needs to be done. Ultimately, you are in, you're going to be moving in this very powerful energy, fiery energy, passionate energy, um, but you must heal first as well before you can move forward. What do you mean? One more card, please. The hangman. Surrender. Letting go of control. Allowing things to transpire without your involvement. Seeing things <clears throat> from a different perspective. This also represents self-sacrifice. So you are not fully independent yet. There is an opportunity. You know, there's this beginning in the relationship, the twin flame connection, but you're not fully free you're not seeing something clearly so when you retreat that vision will come that answer will come you will see things from a different perspective and you will heal yourself which gives you the power to move forward and pursue the things that you desire <clears throat> okay sorry about my throat I think we'll use um, Dorian Virtues Romance Angels for the message from the universe what is your final messages for the masculine energy? Chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. Yeah. Definitely got that in the Twin Flame reading as well. Uh, looking at the wrong book. What did I do with the books? Oh my god. Oh. <clears throat> okay. Masculine. You receive this card because you feel a strong dynamic pull towards another person. In other words, you share chemistry with him or her. This creates intense, pleasurable sensation that draws you to each other. If this person is someone other than your partner in a committed relationship, then the chemistry is probably a source of both stress and escape. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm feeling there. You'll need to weigh your options and the consequences carefully before you, uh, oh my God, let me just repeat that again. You'll need to weigh your options and the consequences carefully before or instead of leaving your current partner or embarking upon an affair, right? That's the, there's a sense that you're about to embark on something but you need to deal with something first. <clears throat> okay. If, however, you're single and feel this pull towards another unattached person, then this card brings you a go-ahead, green light, oh my God, of good news. Most likely the chemistry is um, mutual and merits exploration. In some cases, this card may mean the lack of chemistry is a cause for a relationship issue and personal discontent. If there was chemistry initially, it may be restored by devoting effort to the relationship. Passion, sparks, and romance could be revived through playfulness, thoughtfulness, time together, and careful, caring gestures. Call upon the romance angels to guide you, um, make important decisions about channeling this chemistry. Boom. That's exactly what I was seeing. It's like you're kind of holding back. You're not sure. Um, ultimately, heal yourself first before you pursue that. But there is that go light. All right? You're being drawn towards it. So go for it. All right, guys. I hope this helped. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Cheers.